features on just sketch me. So the first one and the most obvious one is that we have a bunch of extra characters, anime characters, realistic characters, and then some, some dogs and cats. We're uh, currently adding some new ones, so keep your eyes peeled. Uh, let's add a realistic male and a realistic female to the scene. And I think let's have them uh, chill in a bar. So we can use the pose library over here and we can select two sitting poses. Um, how about one of them is uh, sitting quite bored, leaning on the table, and we can put her on the ground. And with the other character, we can have him sitting casually. Oh, that's on the floor. Now we want it more like a... Um, oh, I've got a lot of sitting on the sitting on the floor. Let's see. Ah, here we go. So he's, he's, he's telling the waiter, waiter, no, he doesn't want any more. Okay, cool. So let's move them into their respective positions. And uh, so the next thing that we'll want to do is add some props to the scene. Um, we've got some basic shapes over there that are very dynamic. So we can take this and we can turn this into their tabletop by just flattening it and stretching it out a bit. Cool. So now we've got a bit of a table for them. And let's move that into place. And just adjust that one arm so it's uh, under the table. Cool. So and let's get her arm sitting on the table as well. Boom. So we can add another. Uh, we can add a drink to each of these um, to each of these people. So he's got his uh, he's got his drink over there, and that's a bit too big, so let's um, just scale that slightly, and um, great, and let's add a uh, plate for her, so we can take this sphere and we can squeeze it down to a little plate. Great. She's not super happy with her food, but um, that's all right. Cool, and uh, another prop that we can add is an image background. So I'm gonna paste an image of a bar from Unsplash over here. And we now have the bar that they're sitting in. This will obviously have to be scaled down. So let's uh, just pop that in there and move that into place and maybe rotate it around a bit so that we've got a nice perspective, right? So that they are sitting in the bar, you know, not, let's actually scale that up a little bit. There we go. Cool. So that will help us with our background when we get into the sketching part. Um, and uh, finally, I want this guy to have a bit of a more splayed hand. So instead of going and adjusting all of the joints, I just make sure that the man is, suggest uh, is selected over there. And I can go to the hand pose library and select splayed on his left hand and just adjust it into the correct position over there. Like, oh, no, thank you. I don't need any more of that. And with her, let's give her a bit of... Uh, let's, let's make it so that she is um, holding a piece so and that's on her left hand, so let's select piece on her left hand, and uh, yeah, she can point a piece at the camera. And it doesn't make sense when her head's down now. So let's uh, let's bring her head back. Whoopsie. There we go. And uh, finally, we can uh, save the scene. And I'm going to save this scene inside of a folder called the bar. And I'm going to have it as two people or two people at table. So this forward slash over there just means that everything before it is the folder that I'm putting it into. So if I click OK over there, it saves the scene. And I can then load that scene again by coming into here, going to bar and selecting two people at table. Fantastic. So you can come back and work on stuff at a later date. And then the final uh, little feature is the screenshot or export. So you can export uh, objects as DAE or OBJ files if you want to import them into, say, SketchUp. Um, and that is 
all from me. Enjoy.